The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Peak. The Wheat School. We're back with Mike Holsworth, research agronomist with CNM Seeds. And Mike, th- these are amazing looking plots, but w- what happened here? Like, you, you s- really late planting date? What ha- what's going on? Yeah, so th- this was planted November 9th. And uh, wow. sometimes you run into accidental kind of experiments. And what happened here is we, we got some seed late. It got tied up at the border or sent late. And quite often that, that does happen. Sometimes we get seed you know, sometimes in the middle of November or the middle of winter, right? And we wind up planting it the next year. But uh, this year we locked out. We had a, a great stretch of weather in November and we've stuck it in the ground and everything looks uh, looks pretty good. Yeah, like this, these are for November the 9th. These plots are wow. So, so Mike, does it always turn out this good on November the 9th or November <laughs> whatever that you plant? No, no, like uh, sometimes it doesn't, turn out this good on October 9th, right? <laughs> so, so we, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. The, the soil was nice and fit and, um, and, uh, and everything, everything, the stars aligned this year, I, I believe. So, so realistically, if we're, if a grower is looking to plant late, cause that's what we, I mean, you're doing these plots late cause you got the seed late. Yeah. The grower's more likely planting late because soybeans, stupid, useless right. soybeans, yeah. didn't get out of the way in time. And we just they should have mowed them off and got the wheat in on time. But but now the growers got to make the decision: do they plant wheat late or don't they plant wheat late? So what are what are the key criteria that you would suggest that they need to look at making that decision? Right. Like first of all, you want to make sure the ground is fit. Yeah. Like that's number one uh, one criteria. Like and I, this basically proves that wheat wheat can work right in no, in November. Yeah. Second second thing is you do want to up your seeding rate a little bit. Um, probably up to two million seeds per acre, or maybe a little, little bit more, depending on the situation. So yeah, and so you do have some seeding rate trials here as well. Mike planted late just for fun. Just for fun, we had some space, so we might we thought, okay, well, why don't we use the space and see see what we can come up with? Yeah, and so that's really cool because you know Mike says two million, and I'm thinking November the ninth. You know what we do, uh, Shane and my, I and my and our re- research work. We'd, we'd open the drill wide open and yep. whatever rate that was, that's what we get because that's all we can get. Yep. But but once you get kind of into mid-November, it's almost impossible to put on too much seed. The problem is that then the seed costs kind of go fairly sure. high, yep. right? Yeah, that's right. And, yep. But but 2.4, 2.5, even 3 million, we have not seen any downside to that other than the seed cost. So yep. seeding rate and then, like you say, Mike, ground conditions. And I think some of the other key things apply that we always talk about seed placed phosphorus you know fall weed control all of those things you do if you can at all but man when you look at this wheat like i I actually cannot believe how good that wheat crop is how thick it is for and and so did you up the seeding rate here mike we didn't no no (sighs) funny enough no (laughs) this is at 1.6 so. Yeah, 1.6 million and, and so silt loam soil, you really tell that it's got some yeah. push here. Eh? This is yeah. powerful ground. It is, it's yeah. got a decent start, a nice fall. A nice fall, a nice winter, yeah. Yeah, mild everything, winter, everything. Every, the, as you say, the stars align. That's right. Yeah. So there you have it. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, Mike Holsworth, CNM Seeds, Wheat School, and the lesson here is when the stars align, late planted wheat is awesome.